Greg, how much are you looking forward to being involved tomorrow night? Yeah, I can't wait to be fair. Uh, it's been uh, a massive game to play in and to play in Europe. We so if uh, selected, it'd be a great opportunity and look forward to it. The group's not won yet, but Celtic are already through to the next stage. Is it nice, a nice feeling to know that you can go out there and play your own game without the pressure of knowing you have to win? Uh, I think at a club of this size, there's always pressure to win. It's important to, whenever you're out there, to win. And uh, that'll be the aim tomorrow. It's uh, a good habit to be in winning and it's hard to get back when you break it. So we'll be looking to continue it. Greg, you're starting to get more minutes now and you've played in the, the two international games as well. How much does that prepare you for a game like this? Um, as a footballer, you need games of football to keep uh, being a rhythm. And uh, thankfully, the last few weeks I've... Uh, got a few at international level and a uh, couple of good ones and then more minutes again on Saturday with another good one so no it's been uh, a good few weeks and just hoping to build on it. How tough is it to build on it when the team are doing so well or, or is the amount of games maybe going to help as well that everyone's going to get a, a shot? Yeah I think it's well documented that the month of December is a busy month uh, so the squad will be needed it's uh, just important when called upon whenever that is is to uh, take your opportunity and impress the manager as much as you can. Greg, if you look back at where your personal Europa League journey began this season, it was obviously at Kilmarnock with that disappointment against Connors Key. Now you're at Celtic, you've already progressed to the last 16, you've got an opportunity, or, or through to the knockout stage, so you've got an opportunity uh, to top the group. How big a journey has that been? Um, not just even the Europa League journey in my whole career, like building been, uh, from Kilmarnock to now it's been... Uh, a quick few years, but an enjoyable one. But uh, no, I think that was one of the first things I said when I signed was, let's hope that's not my last game in Europe. So uh, hopefully if I get the chance tomorrow, then it'll be a better time than it was at the start of the season. I know from the manager it's one game at a time and all that kind of thing, but you as a football fan must be excited at the prospect of a, a knockout European draw that's, that, that's going to be coming and, and the names that are in there and the, the opportunities that come with it. Obviously not wanting to look beyond tomorrow night and the other games. No, as you say, of course, um, tomorrow night's the chance to win the group, um, so hopefully we'll go and do that and then you can maybe look forward to a wee bit more, but as the gaffers touched on, it's just important to keep focus, keep focus on the now. Greg, Greg, what's your abiding memories of those two earlier European games this season? Disappointment, probably. Um, it was a massive feat for uh, a club of Kilmarnock to get to Europe and uh, to probably throw away a chance like that was quite disappointing at the time. Thankfully now I've got another chance at Europe, um, at a massive club in Celtic, so uh, just looking forward to now. Greg, when, when you're battling for, for minutes, do you feel a lot of pressure to go on and, and perform your absolute best every time you, you step on the pitch or are you able to are you able to kind of block that out and just try and do what kind of got you the move to Celtic in the first place? Um, I think, that, as I said, touched on earlier, there's pressure with every game you play, especially at a, size, at a club this size. No added pressure, certainly not from anyone within. Um, maybe I put myself under pressure, but that's just to perform re regardless if I'm out the team, in the team, or sporadic. But uh, I hope to, if and when, as I said, called upon, I do myself justice. Greg, uh, what can the Celtic fans expect to see from your game, and what has the manager said that he expects from you? Um, just to do what I've done for the last three years. I've uh, performed at a consistent level uh, in my time being. I've went. Uh, Thankfully, grabbed a couple of assists at uh, international level just there, and probably just more of the same. I think I've trained well since I've come in, um, and the gaffers touched on that, and uh, just to keep what doing what I'm doing.